Hello friends, currently we have discuss, student attendance management module in admin side, of student attendance system, and in this part we will discuss how an admin can make PDF report of particular student for particular month. In previous part, we have seen how to load over all student attendance data, in jQuery data table, an admin can see overall student attendance percentage. For make PDF report, we have already make report button for each student in previous part, so we have go to index page. After this here we can see bootstrap for modal skeleton code, here we have add id attribute is equal to form modal. In modal title class, we have write make report, this text will be display on header of modal. Under modal body class, we have create one division tag with class is equal to input date range, this is for date range date picker. Under this class, we have write input type is equal to text name and id is equal to from date and in placeholder is equal to from date with read only attribute for display from date validation here we have write span tag id is equal to error from date below this we have write Input type is equal to text, name, and ID is equal to date, placeholder is equal to date, and read only attribute, here teacher can select to date. Same way for display to date validation error, here we have create span tag with ID is equal to error to date. Under modal footer class, we have write input type is equal to hidden, name and id is equal to student id, under this tag we will student particular student id. Below this, we have write button type is equal to button, name and id is equal to create report, with button text create report. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, so here we have write dollar with division tag id input date range with date picker method, it initialize date range picker under this tag text box. Under this method, we have write first option today button set to link, that means from date must be less than to date. In second option, we have write format option, and here we have define date format, and after this we have write auto close option set to true. Now we have write dollar with document selector, with on method, and under this we have write click, with button class report button, so when we have click on report button, this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write student ID variable is equal to dollar this with attribute method with ID, it will fetch value from ID attribute and store under student ID variable. After this, we have write dollar with hidden field ID student ID with value method, and under this we have write student ID variable, it will assign value this hidden field. Lastly for pop-up modal, so we have write dollar with modal ID form modal with modal method, and under this we have write show, it will pop up form modal on web page. After this, we have write dollar with modal button id create report, with click event, 
so when we have click on create report button, then this block of code will execute. Under this first we have write, student ID variable is equal to, dollar with hidden field ID student ID with value method. After this, we have write from date variable is equal to, dollar with text box ID from date with value method. Below this, we have write to date variable is equal to, dollar with text box ID to date with value method, so here from date and to date text box details store under this variable. After this we have define error variable is equal to zero. Now we have write, if statement and under condition we have write, from date variable value is equal to blank, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write, dollar with span tag id error from date, with text method, and under this we have write from date is required, and error variable value increment by 1. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this we have write dollar with span tag id, error from date with text method, with blank value, it will remove previous validation error. Same for to date text box, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write to date variable value is equal to blank, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar, with span tag id error to date, with text method, and under this we have write, to date is required, and error variable value increment by 1. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this we have write dollar with span tag id error to date, with text method with blank value, it will clear previous validation error. Now we have write, if statement and under condition we have write, error variable value is equal to zero, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with text box id, from date with value method, with blank value, it will clear this text box value. Below this, we have write, dollar with text box id to date, with value method, and under this we have write blank value, it will clear this text box value. For hide modal, here we have write dollar with modal id, form modal with modal method, and under this we have write hide, it will hide modal from web page. Lastly, we have write window dot open method, and under this we have write, report dot php, question mark action is equal to student report, and student id is equal to, student id variable, and form date is equal to from date variable. And to date is equal to to date variable, so here we have send data to report file in get method. So it will open this report.php with attendance data in PDF report. Here in report.php file, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar get action variable value is equal to student report if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have again write if statement 
and under condition we have write ESIT function, and under this we have write dollar get student ID variable, dollar get from date, and to date variable, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar PDF variable is equal to new PDF method. Here we have write new object of PDF class. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from student table, inner join grade table, on grade table dot grade is equal to student table dot student grade id where student table dot student id is equal to dollar get student id variable now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable below this we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will make query for execution. After this, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable, with fetch all method, it will return query execution result. Now we have write for each loop with condition like dollar result variable as dollar row variable under this loop we have write dollar output variable and under this we have append html code like table and in first row column we want to display student name so here we have write dollar row student name variable In second row, we want to display student role number details, so here we have write dollar row student role number variable. In third row, we want to display student grade details, so here we have write dollar row grade name variable. In next row, we have create one table with two table column like attendance date and attendance status. For fill this table with attendance record, here we have write dollar sub query variable is equal to select star from attendance table where student ID is equal to dollar get student ID variable. After this, we have write and attendance date between dollar get from date variable and dollar get to date variable order by attendance date in ascending order below this query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar sub query variable it will make query for execution same way for execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute query. After query execution, we have write dollar sub result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, it will return query execution result. For fetch data from dollar sub result variable, here we have write for each loop and under condition, we have write dollar sub result variable as dollar sub row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar output variable, and under this variable we have append HTML code like open and close table row tag and between this we have create two table data tag in first column we want to display attendance date detail so here we have write dollar sub row attendance date variable 
Same way in second column, we want to display attendance status detail, so here we have write dollar sub row attendance status variable. So, this way we have store report detail in dollar output variable in HTML format, below this here we have write dollar file name variable is equal to attendance report dot pdf here we have create pdf file name below this we have write dollar pdf object with load html method and under this we have write dollar output variable this method will load html strings after this we have write dollar pdf variable with render method this method render HTML to PDF. Now we have write $PDF object with Steam method, with two argument like $file name variable, and attachment option set to false, it will open PDF report in browser. Lastly from exit from code, here we have write exit function 0, now here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we have login into admin account, here on index page we can see, all student overall attendance details, in percentage, here we can also seen report button also. Now we have click on report button, after click on report button, modal has pop up on web page, first we want to check validation working or not, so we have directly click on create button. After click on report button, under modal we can see validation error, so here validation working properly, now we have select from date, and to date and click on create report button. After click on create report button, report has been open in new tab, and here we can see particular student attendance data of particular date range. Here admin can make particular student attendance, report for particular month also, so this is basic feature of the student attendance management module. So here we have discussed most of the part of student attendance management system. If there is some extra part has been made for the system, so you can suggest us, we will look into it and if there is any feature which is required for this attendance system, then we will definitely add into this existing system. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.